Hey, what's going on guys? Jared Duckett, Duckett Lad Dental CPAs and Advisors back at you with my business partner, Bill Ladd. And just want to quick, shoot a quick video for you guys, kind of an update to the uh, Provider Relief Fund video that we shot um, a little while back. But um, just want to jump on here real quick. I'm just going to share the screen and kind of just go over some guidance that HHS, um, this just came out not too long ago, August the 3rd. Is that right, Bill? I believe so. That's right. Yeah, just a couple days ago, I guess. So basically what it does, three things here we just want to hit on real quick. So this is the third extension, maybe, give or take, but um, it's it's been extended again. So again, if you haven't gone out to get this, uh, get this relief, um, they're giving you some more time. So they extended it to August the 3rd, and now they've extended it again till August the 28th. So we're shooting this video on 8-4, so you got a little over three weeks to go out there to get that relief, um, that relief money if you haven't already. So that's the, that's the first one, extension date now, August the 28th. Um, second one here, and this I consider an important one, Bill, and we've seen this with some of our clients, is, is really this, this whole, um, you know, if, if before, before this, if you will, if you received the proceeds from the, the, the beginning general distribution, you know, which we've seen some of our clients have in very small amounts, depending on how much work they did, but um, it was kind of that automatic, you know, they were trying to get the money out quickly and, you know, a dental practice might've got a small amount um, of that distribution is before, if you got even a portion of that distribution, you weren't allowed to, to go get this provider relief fund. Um, which seem very, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Very, uh, I mean, it's penalizing really, you know, to that person and so, or that dental practice. So now what they've said is, and this is key here, starting August the 10th. So August the 10th through the 28th, if you got that general distribution, now you can, you're not precluded from getting this. August 10th, you can go and get this. So we've seen that on several clients, Bill. And to me, that's one of the biggest things in this in this relief fund. Um, do you have any comments on that? Yeah, it was typically came in as a pretty small amount. I think it was something that really nobody knew what it was or where it came from. And so it was a uh, uh, welcome relief to see that that <clears throat> was designed to be a small portion of the total. Uh, I still don't think people knew to follow up on to get the remainder. And so now they're saying, okay, uh, if you did get this, uh, that's not it. You are able to go ahead and apply because it did seem sort of punitive uh, that they automatically sent this to you and now you're precluded from getting uh, to tap into this this section here. Punitive, that's the word I'm looking for, Bill. It's in yeah. the afternoon, I'm losing my words here, but yeah, you're right. Um, so that, that's a big deal. So again, August 10th though, I mean, how we read it and how we interpret it, you can't go get that today if you got that general distribution. So go out August the 10th is kind of your trigger on that. Um, then the third third part, and this is, you know, we heard a lot of chatter on how it works if you have a change of ownership. You know, maybe you bought a practice at the uh, end of last year, this year, or whatever. But they they specifically said that if you know you had a change of ownership, you know, in your practice, um, that you can go ahead and and apply for that here. And it goes into detail. And we'll reference this 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 link here. This is the hhs.gov link on it. But it it talks about specifically on prior owners. Um, you know, if they, if they, I'm going to say accidentally, you know, got the money, um, how it works if you went in and bought a practice, you know, at the beginning of this year, um, as how that, uh, as how that actually works. I saw a lot of chat, chatter on, on forums and stuff like, Hey, I bought this practice this day. Can I get it? And I think this kind of clarifies is, is what that, what that really looks like. Uh, comments on that, Bill? Yeah, it sounds like, you know, they may have sent these to the original owners of record, uh, according to them, those owners should theoretically pay them back for that, make them whole, and that would then free up the new owners to apply uh, under a clean, clean slate. So, you know, probably welcome uh, relief. It's still a little bit of, of confusion exactly how that, that would work, but, you know, that's kind of, or if that would work the way they wanted to, uh, but if it does, then it does sound like if you did, purchase a practice and you had some question about whether you can can uh, apply it does look like now they have clarified you are able to do that so 
those two are those two are good ones. Those two are good good release that uh, uh, hopefully will help people. Uh, again, you know, it's designed to help people who suffered from COVID, and uh, if you have, then this is a program you might look into. And uh, uh, they've certainly made it more accessible with these these, these rulings here. Yeah. And we'll try to monitor this as it comes out. Things just always happen quickly, but um, you know, three three big ones there. So the, the extension deadline to this, uh, or the it's been the deadline's been extended to August twenty eighth. Um, if you have received the distribution from that general distribution before, you can apply for this relief fund starting August the tenth. And then if you've had a you know recent change in ownership or run into some hiccups in regard to that, um, you know, there's clarity on what you need there. So. Again, guys, just want to shoot that quick video for you. Get uh, get that out there. We'll put the link to that hhs.gov um, website. And then if you guys have questions on that, feel free to reach out. Uh, we're here to help. We'll see you guys. Take care.